Hi, I'm Ivory Madison with RedRoom.com and I wanted to talk to you today about self-publishing and also about my grandma, Gerda. This is her right here. Um, she died recently at age 92 and we were very close. So I decided I wanted there to be something to remember her by, not just for me, but for our family, for anyone who knew her who's still around, and for uh, the kids I hope to have someday. So I self-published this book. I, it was really easy and I had never tried self-publishing a book with today's technology so I wanted to tell you a little bit about it and encourage you to do this if you have any creative projects or family projects that are important to you. I went to a website called blurb.com another book related technology uh, company here in San Francisco um, also founded in the by a woman like me who cares about books and creative expression and I recommend them. Um, anyway, so I'll tell you about this book. So I called it Silent Songs because that's what my grandmother called the collection of poetry she gave me. Um, and it contains all of her poems and she wrote them about her husband, Richard Fisk. It's kind of hard to see him here looking mysterious in Central Park in the 40s. but. Uh, he unfortunately died when he was only 47, and my grandmother was a very happy-go-lucky, extroverted opera singer in New York, and um, he was a writer. In fact, he has a half-written novel that I have in a box somewhere that, that might be my next family project. Uh, but, um, but anyway, so she, some, you know, it, it changes you when you you lose someone like that. So she became a little bit more like him and started being more introspective and writing instead of singing and writing sad things about losing him and so she called them her silent songs. And uh, so anyway, um, the book looks great. It looks like a real book. It only costs thirty dollars by the way. There's no setup fee so it's just thirty dollars a book and or even less depending on some of the choices you make and um, you can just get one or you can get a bunch for your family like I did and it looks like a real book it's got a book jacket here where I described my grandmother's work and back here where I talked about my grandmother's life and um, the book looks really great uh, I'm, I'm pretty pretty proud of her and now I'm, I'm proud of having this book to show people about her and um, Gerda Christensen Fisk, Silent Songs. So if you want to buy it, you can go to my Red Room page. Um, go to redroom.com, search for Ivory Madison, and uh, go to my author page and, and look for the Silent Songs book. And then I think it'll take you to Blurb so you can buy it. So this is all her poems. And I wrote this huge introduction about her life. I did not mean to do that. Uh, I thought it was going to be really brief, but um, it's self-published so no one can edit me. And uh, so anyway, I wrote this big epic about what a wonderful woman she was and how losing her husband was just a small part of a remarkable and very happy life. This is, um, this is interesting to me because I put a photo of <coughs> my grandfather's desk um, when, they were in when he was in college and they were engaged. And this is the photo that you see on the cover and the books that he had on his desk when he was a college student and they were engaged and I just love thinking about them engaged. They were very happily married. And um, just wonderful poems. Um, this is a, a picture I have of them um, in my house that I really like. Kind of look like, everyone looked like a movie star in the 40s. And uh, just wonderful. Some of the poems are not the greatest things in the world and some of them are brilliant, I think. And I, I'm sorry she never tried to get them published. Um, and then let's see, what's, what else is interesting in here? Oh, this is, this is my grandmother's father. So this would have been my great-grandfather, Kai Christensen. And he was apparently a well-known poet philosopher in Denmark. And then when he, that wasn't a very viable or profitable profession. So um, he came to the U.S. and was a, a bridge designer and, and engineer. And he raised the Normandy means exactly. I think I know what that means. Anyway, um, so it's a beautiful book and I love it and I got copies for my family and friends and I really encourage you if you have a project to 
respect yourself and the project enough to say this is worth publishing and publish it yourself.